우리 동네에선 그 놀이를 오징어라고 불렀다. 규칙은 간단하다. 
Now, they are given 16 minutes to cross, and theoretically, for all the players to make it across, they would have to be pretty fast to make it. Because even if it took the players one second per tile, which would be 18 seconds total to get across, we would have three players finish every 54 seconds, which do the math real quick. If we only have three players make it in 54 seconds, in 16 minutes, we would more than likely not have enough people cross. But let's just assume that all of our participants are cheetahs and the fastest people alive, and everyone makes it across. And maybe they would have extended the time anyways, because obviously they were probably not expecting 114 people to make it this far. But hey, there's 114 people, so there you go. So now now we enter into the squid game which is the last one now obviously in the show we only had two people make it this far well technically three but you know stuff happens and then the two who are left don't really even play the game they just kill each other and look at that there's one left but under here let's just assume hey we have 114 people to play squid game that's 57 people per team even though I don't think this square could fit 114 people, and I don't think the game is designed to have 114 people play, let's just have fun and think that the game creators will adapt to their surroundings. And if that's the case, we go from 114 players down to 57. So that means the Squid Games had 57 people, theoretically, who could have survived it. Now, obviously, the game probably would have been rigged, but again, we are all equals here which means that 399 players were destined to die no matter what. Now for the surviving players who get to go home, you would think, oh, they get 45.6 billion won. Well, it's not that simple. Because there were 399 players who died, they ended up with 39 billion 900 million won total. Now, of course, I looked in multiple places to do my math because my math is very accurate. You take the 39 billion 900 million won and you put it into the US dollar using Google, you will end up with $30,649,516.17 for our participants. Take the 17 cents and donate it to the families of the lost ones. From that, you divide that number by 57 and you will end up with around $537,710 for each winner. Now, obviously not as big of a payday as they would have thought, but these players got out with their lives and not as much blood needed to be shedded. With the new Squid Game reality show and a season two of Squid Game to come out some point, we will see if the same rule applies. More than likely not. There you go. Out of 456 players, 399 died and 57 players got to live. So if you ever find yourself in a squid game with 456 people under the assumption you will play all the same games as they did in the show, just theoretically find out if you are a top 57 player. And if you are not a top 57 player, well, you can just end your life right there because you aren't making it to the end. Uh oh, sure.